Hands like clouds, also called brushing the clouds. Level one, the mechanics. As we've seen in previous exercises, this one also involves a rotation of the hips combined with a sideways weight shifting. Let's focus on this aspect first. A rotation of the hip, sideways shifting. Shifting to the other side as the hips rotate slightly. Keep the vertical axis of your spine. Do not lean forward or back or sideways. The crown is pulled upwards. The pelvis is tucked in. This schematic may help you visualize the angle. The knee is in a vertical alignment with the foot. The hand, which brushes across, stops when it comes in vertical alignment with the knee. So the hand, the knee, and the foot are all aligned vertically when the shifting of the hands takes place. Begin the rotation once you have established a strong connection between the hand and the eyes. Look through the hand. The hand can be four to six to eight inches away from the face. As long as you feel its presence, its warmth. The hand which is at the level of the Tantian follows, as it has done in the two previous exercises, sensing the ripples of the chi and sensing the ripples of time. So this hand is scanning the surface of the chi. Now I invite you to pay attention to your shoulders. When you raise your hand to the face, the shoulder of that hand tends to lift. Keep your shoulders leveled. Relaxed. Low. When the coordination is easy, you can add some roundness and fluidity to the movement, as long as you keep the sensation alive. The sensation in the contact between the face and the hand, the sensation between the two hands as they exchange positions in mid-air, and the sensation of the lower hand scanning and scooping the chi up to the face. Let your hands move like passing clouds in the wind. 